Hi, Jim Cowan from the People's Run to Remember here at the uh, Soldiers Charity with Alan. Nice to see you again, Alan. Hello, Jim. Nice to meet you. Um, now, last time we, we were talking, you were telling us a little bit about the background and the history of the Soldiers Charity uh, and why it's still relevant today. But in terms of people that are raising money for you, you know, why specifically they should they support the Soldiers Charity and where does that money go? Who does it help and how? Well, without uh, people going out there and running uh, or assisting in getting us some funds, we wouldn't be able to do anything because we're, a, we're a, an organisation that survives on donations. There's no public money comes into the charity, although we do receive a little bit from the service community, as you would expect, probably. Um, so we, it's vital to us. Um, without it, we couldn't achieve anything. The, it's a sad reflection, actually, but the, the needs of the wider army community and family is much more dependent due to various reasons today than it ever has been, I would suggest. Why? We're living longer, yeah. as an example. Um, and because of some of the austerity measures that are counting in and that kind of thing, and we're finding that, particularly with the elderly population, there's not quite so much money out and about now and again, uh, today, um, and we need to tap into that resource. Um, an example would be converting bathrooms to bedrooms. You know, some of the elderly that we're assisting can't get in and out of a bath. So allowing them to retain a little bit of dignity. Remembering, of course, that these are the people who fought for us in the Second World War, who have or who completed national service, who or perhaps fought in Korea, yeah. Malaya, Borneo, those kind of campaigns. And then, of course, you fast forward to recent conflicts like Afghanistan, Iraq. There's lots of youngsters out there who are suffering uh, for one reason or another. Some of them wounded, injured and sick as a result of injuries sustained by us in operations. Not only does it affect them, but it also affects the family. And it could be that um, because of that particular illness that the youngster has, uh, they can't support the family. So the knock-on effect to uh, not only the individual and his, his well-being, he feels a bit of a failure because he can't support his family, which is a real shame. But that has a knock-on effect to mum and the children. So the money that is raised makes a significant difference to the well-being of the family, I can promise you, because as head of grants for the Soldiers Charity, I deal with it on a daily basis. And I know from experience, having been here five years now, the difference it makes on the ground to the lives of particularly the children and the elderly. It's phenomenal. Thank you very much for that, Alan. And uh, yeah, as relevant today as ever. Um, if you'd like to support the Soldiers Charity or any of the three other official charities of the event, uh, please visit www.peoplesrun2remember.com. There's information there about all four charities, there's information there on how to fundraise, uh, and of course how to enter each event. It's worth remembering, we sometimes take freedom for granted, but freedom is not free, so please consider running to give for those who gave.